Okay, for those of you getting married, these are the things that you should have ready for your photographer when they go to the getting ready part of the day. And hopefully I'm your photographer because these are the things that I'm going to ask for. And if you have them ready, not set up, but ready, that would be great. Hi, you look great. The makeup's already done, huh? Almost. Almost, yeah. yeah. You know, she wanted to give me, like, start me, but finish me up. So, I don't know if you want me to set up, like, the stuff on the... Uh, gonna... Let me look around and see where I'm going to do it. Yeah. But if you just have the stuff, you have the stuff upstairs? Yeah, I can get it. Let, no, you don't have to get it yet. Let me go look upstairs and then down here, maybe down here is where I want to do it. The, I'm going to set it up. Let me just get ready here. So the very first thing I do when I get somewhere is take photos of the details. Starting with your shoes. Give me your shoes, whether you're wearing uh, heels or flats or both. I want them all. And I will take them where I feel like I'll get the best photos of them. Uh, I'll take a whole bunch of pictures and that and uh, your other things. Um, any religious items your flowers, bouquets, if you have them, let me have them, I want to photograph. Your rings too, if you have them there at the getting ready, I can get them done and give them back to you. Nice and safe, sometimes the groom has them, but then that means I have to get those shots later. But if you have them, that's great. Your garter, if you're gonna have one, your vows, your invitations, and jewelry. If you have all that, let me have it, I want to photograph it. Okay, so the next thing I do after I photograph all your detail is your dress. Look, here's one tip. Have a nice hanger. It doesn't have to be a custom one like this. It can be something else. Just plastic is not good. Wood is nice. This is just a wood hanger, but it looks so much nicer than just a plastic one. The next thing is where to find a place for the dress. I often can't take it outside. I don't want to risk it getting dirty, but you know, outside can be really nice. Hotel rooms are always the most difficult place to find to, to put the dress. But there's always a spot, just as long as you have a nice hanger, that's good. You should you should get one, okay? Right now, if you're planning a wedding, you should go out and get one, just so that you're not forgetting it like a week before. Just a wooden hanger is all you need, not plastic. Can't tell you how many times I get a plastic one. So after I'm done with all that, your makeup should be nearly finished. Oh. Can I move this bottle all the way? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was about move to. Move whatever. <laughs> Do that first. Um, Andrew, move all that stuff back there. Yeah? Yes, let him just give him a second to move all that. So you're gonna get that side of her face. This one? Yeah, just just slightly. Yeah. We just need a little bit of this. You're really good at that. You should be a makeup artist. <laughs> So just like I told the fake makeup artist, I just need a little bit of this. You don't want a whole bunch of pictures of you getting makeup applied, right? This is called fake up too. And when the makeup artist leaves and I just need a hand to pretend to put makeup on you, that's that's all I need. So this part here, you just it takes a few minutes and it's just the last little bit. In fact, most of the time I do the makeup shots, your makeup is already on you 100%. We're just pretending to put it on. So uh, I'll wait until I do all your details and your dress. Now we do the makeup part. That is the next part of what I do. And I think it's the next part of what most photographers do. So now you have a good idea of how the beginning of the day with your photographer is going to go. So the next photos are with your loved ones. Everybody smile. Look at the bride. Look how pretty she looks. Smile. There you go. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, it's not the bed. Oh. Why don't we do it like this though? Like you're sitting, looking over here, and then you guys are like, like hovering over her, and she's gonna be pouring oh, in. Oh, like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'm pouring all of it. So I have a few makeup artist friends that are really good and they're gonna get upset with me when I say this, but what do you think is the thing that makes everybody late on their wedding day? It's the hair and the makeup. 
And so what happens here is maybe the bride is ready with the makeup, right? But not everybody else. So you have to wait for them if you want shots like that with your bridal party drinking champagne and you don't want to waste time having to wait for them so you have to try to make sure that your bridal party is all ready take this wedding for example the bridal party was late so we just took it with two girls but then they all showed up so we we're like let's get it real quick she almost went without this shot because they just their hair and their makeup were running late so make sure that they're good to go that it's going to finish on time and that way you can guarantee that you're going to get shots with your loved ones even if the loved ones are cute dogs or just one person or your mom or your sister anybody who is your loved one and is there while getting ready with you can get photos with you so this is the time to do it after we do the makeup shots if they're all there if they're all ready that'll move the itinerary along and you'll be so relaxed okay so after we get all that you're gonna put on your dress and your jewelry I'll step out you'll put it on and then look at me there we go perfect face the window and then just kind of look at me right there and give me a quick sec okay do you have your bouquet with you it's over there can we get our bouquet yeah that's good look at the so now we get pictures of you putting on your jewelry, putting your dress on, whether that's outside or inside. It depends on your situation, right? If you get married at a location that is very outdoorsy, woodsy, maybe it's a good idea to go outside. If you're in a hotel room, well, it's going to be in a hotel room. But we'll get photos of you, your sister, your brother. I mean, your brothers probably won't be there, but your mom or anybody else who's there. We'll get photos of all this, putting the jewelry on helping you tie your dress we'll get photos of all of this if they're all there if they're all ready then even better you can actually get these photos if they're not ready because the makeup is running behind you're gonna be so upset we'll get some photos of you holding your dress like this or like that and with your bridal party helping you given that there's enough space to get this shot we will get it putting your jewelry on this is a time for that first looks sometimes people have first looks with their father those are nice moments that doesn't always happen but if you if your father is there why not with your bridal party with your mom giving her a gift these are all things that don't always happen at a wedding but it's something to consider i think it's a good thing like on the phone facetime you can do all kinds of first looks so the very last thing i do before we leave the getting ready is portraits these are done before like when your makeup is ready so i should have included that before but i get some before you put your dress on and then i get those same shots like this when your dress is on and then we can get all the other ones that i like next to the window window light is the best so if there's a bunch of clutter where you're getting ready I am gonna be moving things around but if there are no windows which happens quite a bit then I'll create my own light if you guys hear a newborn in the background that's because there is a newborn in the background that's uh, my little girl she's five weeks old today uh, but uh, again you want nice pictures like this so i am going to go into your getting ready and move things around i hope you guys enjoyed this video and give you some idea as to how what's gonna happen this whole process of the getting ready pictures takes about an hour my next video is going to be about your first look with your soon-to-be husbands don't miss it guys